Hello and welcome once again to Scoose Metal Propaganda on YouTube. Another month of comic reviews. We start off with one I have not finished yet still, Joe Kubert Presents. I'm waiting for all the issues, six issues to come in, hopefully very soon. Uh, well, another three months of course, not very soon, but it looks good so far. We next go to Justice League, Justice League, yes. Uh, Throne of Atlantis crossover, or I like to put it, really boring stuff with Aquaman. Pat it out, pat it out, pat it out. Please get better. It's not getting better. Uh, another one that's only slightly marginally improved is Superman, the Hell and Earth crossover. You're supposed to understand the crossover without reading the other parts of it. Uh, no, you don't understand this one without reading the other parts. I didn't really care to read the other parts with Superboy, Supergirl, Superdog, I don't know what. Um, yeah, I was kind of bored. Rest in peace, Legion Lost, final issue, it's done. Thank you for killing off this really great 90s book in the year 2013. DC, don't screw with Legion anymore, thank you. And the countdown, and next issue or two, to Keith Geifen coming back to Legion. Love the Legion book, we been reading it since I was a wee little toddler or something like that. And this is kind of a fill-in issue a bit, but you know there's something else going on here. There's some other aspect of a storyline going on. It has dinosaurs in it. Really cool. Next we go to Animal Man, another part of the Rock World storyline, which is going on right now. Really interesting stuff, really cool stuff. Uh, and by the way, done by Jeff Lemire, Canadian. Just had to mention that. And Just League Dark. Uh, this is part of a new storyline starting up where they go to another dimension where magic doesn't work the same way or doesn't work at all. Very strange storyline. Um, it's also written by Jeff Lemire. Canadian! I had to mention that again. It's a law. And uh, the cool part at the end here is not only seeing all the characters, how their powers manifest differently or just wonk out on this new dimension, but John Constantine. Character twist in this one, you will not believe. One that I think is really hitting its mark is Sword of Sorcery featuring Amethyst. And I think the writer in this fourth issue is really finally getting to where she has to go with the story. And writing Amethyst as a real character as a teenage girl stuck in this magical realm. And it does cross over into Justice League Dark as well. Very interesting storyline stuff. And the first issue came out of Keith Guyven's Threshold with the Hunted otherwise called Hunger Games in a comic in outer space. Despite that, it's actually really interesting and you can tell Keith is going for the long game here with lots of world building and thinking out how this universe is going to work. And it has uh, basically the Green Lantern, after losing his power ring or something, is now being hunted down throughout the universe because um, he got caught undercover. And it has stealth in it, it has Tommy Tamara, or Tamara Tamara, I can't really pronounce it very well. And it's very interesting. And it also has Lara Fleas in it as a backup feature, and I find Lara Fleas boring, but boring, but who knows. Maybe I like him this way. One of my favorite reads of the month, absolutely favorite reads of the month, is All Star Western starring Jonah Hex. Um, this is a continuation of the storyline for the last couple episodes uh, with Jonah. He's in another fight with Dr. Jekyll, not too much spoilers there, and other factors are in play here. Uh, lots of history making bits in here, and Jonah basically gets into a fight and gets the you-know-what knocked out of him really quickly. But he keeps fighting. Um, Grant Morrison is back in his time trippiest best with Action Comics here, featuring the second death of Superman. You've, everything Morrison writes, you've got to read twice to understand what he is or is not getting at, or doing, or what have you. And this is no exception. But I still find it very interesting to read it, and um, very interesting how he's ending off his run with this issue and the next issue of Action Comics, with this time-traveling bits with mix a -plick and other stuff like that. One of my favorite reads of the month, as well, again, is World's Finest. Uh, this one has Power Girl going on the trail of vengeance against whoever tried to attack her friend the Huntress. And it's it's much more of a character-based story, but also shows you that Power Girl, you don't know, mess with her. She kind of gets angry when you mess with her friends. And last but not least, my favorite Superman comic out there, the one with Lois and Clark are together, 
is Smallville. This one starts a new storyline where Impulse shows up, Bart Allen from the Smallville TV show. And basically it's the two of them go together and there's sort of a new storyline and there's stuff with Lex in it and character bits. It's really kind of fun. So that is this month's wonderful download of what I think of the comics coming out right now. And hopefully I'll see you next month for more. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. And check me out on Twitter at Scoop Riches. And check out my blog, Scoop's Mental Propaganda. And hit like to my Facebook page. Thank you very much.